Kia ora, I'm Jeff Simmons and I'm running for the leadership of the Opportunities Party. It's good to, to have people out there debating who they want to, to take the party forward and working out where they want the Opportunities Party to go in the future because really to make the sort of difference that we want to make, the Opportunities Party needs to become a movement. You know, we need to get people engaged and involved. It, it, it can't all come from top down. You know, we wanted to give members a greater say over how the organisation is run, where it's headed, all that sort of stuff. So there's two positions that we're currently being voted on. One is the leadership position and the other is uh, a member board representative. The trouble with uh, top-down systems that we're seeing at the moment is that they are not good at, at creating um, the sort of change and agility that we need uh, in the modern world. Stuff is changing really fast out there. You know, we've got, we've got automation, we've got climate change, we've got artificial intelligence, all these things coming down the pipeline at us incredibly quickly. Government can't keep up and, and top-down systems can't keep up. A lot of that is because, uh, you know, people have, they've become disengaged in politics, thinking that they, that they don't need to be engaged because basically nothing is going to change. Well, folks, stuff is going to change and it's going to change real fast. So we need to engage people. Um, I'm not a massive fan of direct democracy, but I'm a massive fan of deliberative democracy. So that's where you get groups of people together, you inform them, uh, and you let them make some of the big decisions, particularly about the, the values uh, you know, behind things. Then you can get the experts to advise on the best way to embody those values, achieve those values. Um, but we need people at the table to do that because politicians are just too risk averse. You were just overseas, what were you doing overseas? I was taking some time out. Uh, I've done it about every 10 years in my life. Uh, you know, sort of ditched the, the job in and taken six months off to go and refresh myself and get in touch with my purpose again. So I was in South America. Spent uh, most of it in Peru. Uh, you know, the whole Machu Picchu oh, and awesome. Amazon and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so yeah, refocused on, on my purpose, which I, you know, basically uh, it's... We, found, we face a whole lot of challenges in, in the world and uh, it's hard to talk about them without sounding like a negative Nelly and I think you know, what, what, I, what I can bring to that is doing it with humour, uh, bringing humour to, to difficult issues. Uh, I think that's really important for encouraging people to think in a different way. Obviously my um, big strength is economics and, and I um, helped write a lot of the policies that, that Top has so that, that's a, a you know, pretty big help in terms of being able to communicate the policy. But the big issue, the big short term issue that we have, the big long term issue we have of course is environmental but the big short term issue that we have in New Zealand right now is our tax system and, our, and, and, the, and the housing market as a result of that. You know, so There's just such a big inv incentive to invest in housing rather than in businesses and that is what is making the housing market out of control. It's what's driving rising inequality because rents are increasing and 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 people who own houses are getting ridiculously uh, you know rich. Uh, and at the same time, um, it's it's starving our economy. It's starving our productive economy because the businesses that that want capital can't get it because all the money's going into housing. Speculation on housing. And we know right around the world that the, the economies that do well. Uh, do do not have a lot of speculation. They have investment and productive uh, purposes and productive businesses, and that's what we're missing out on in New Zealand. I mean, the only reason I can afford to do all this, uh, you know, completely unpaid, is because of this. Because of this piece of real estate, which for some reason has almost doubled in value over the past five years. I've done nothing. Well, I, I have had some building done to it, but that was because some cowboy uh, in the 1980s made a complete botch of the of the foundations this is absolutely nuts that it's worth this much but because i live here and and have and can benefit from this uh, you know crazy capital gain it's 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 allowed me to do all this all this work for top which ironically i'm trying to kill the housing market and kill capital gain so that I can't do this sort of stuff anymore because it's painfully unfair. Why do we give our biggest tax break to people who already have so much? You know, I already have a house. I don't need the, the country's biggest tax break at the same time. It's crazy. Anyway. Yeah, awesome. Thanks. That would be great.